Uh, yes, I'm uh, Peter Kemper. I'm here in computer science. Uh, yes, I've been uh, using a tool that is called Piazza. It provides a question and answer web forum uh, for students. And um, what I um, use it for is as a main communication channel outside of the classroom. And so students can post questions there and then get answers uh, online. Yeah. There are certain features that I like because students can edit their questions so they can refine it. Part of that is a learning experience on what are good questions to ask in the sense of being precise on what you exactly want to know or provide some context of the question so they get a better quality of answer. And then I as an instructor can write an answer but also the students can write an answer and the interesting thing is that students can collaboratively write the answer. So it's a bit more like a wiki for the answer. So in this way, it does not lead to an endless discussion where you have to follow up on an O oh, and then the point in in the posting 37 actually gives the right answer. No, it's something that can accumulate under student answers. And there's room for follow-up discussion on different aspects, but I think that's something having this condensed uh, space for the answer, that is something that I like. And over the course, uh, students uh, occasionally ask similar questions. So the whole uh, discussion um, among, uh, over the different posts is searchable. So one can also refer to, hey, that question is similar to question 37. So you can just write reference to that and you don't have to repeat this. Uh, something that I find tremendously useful is that a lot of students hesitate to ask sort of uh, questions that they feel are too simple to, to ask. They feel embarrassed to do this in class in front of their uh, classmates or in front of an instructor. And I can configure a Piazza to such that student can pose questions anonymously. And there are two flavors of it, anonymously towards other students in class, but also anonymously towards me. And I can switch that on or off. Personally, I like to have it fully anonymously. And I believe that gives a level of comfort to students to ask questions that they need an answer for, but they feel they are too simple to ask. In the beginning, I, uh, I was thinking of incentive. We were given incentive in terms of points for participation, but over the years it turned out that that wasn't really necessary. It was just uh, driven by demand that students had uh, questions that they want to get answers for, and since I um, have a strong preference for that communication channel, instead of emails where I would answer one-on-one, -on -one, here I can broadcast the responses to everyone in class, and that helps me a lot to reduce uh, redundancy in communication. So I preference that a lot and students use it a lot for the questions. And one can get statistics on the individual participation, how many questions people posted, how many answers they provided. Uh, there's also a mechanism that as an instructor I can endorse questions as, oh this is a good question or this is a good answer to something and I get statistics for that as well. Thank you.